Hello, I'm back. Oh man, I got a good idea of what we can listen to today. Oh, here we go. 14 hours and 40 minutes of Warcraft music. Are you guys ready? I know you are. Oh my god. Let's see how much of it we can get through. I know maybe some of you guys don't like Warcraft or World of Warcraft or Blizzard or whatever, but there's no denying that the music in World of Warcraft is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Um, it is February. We are planting oats in March, which is tomorrow. On these two fields over here. Man, this farm is really starting to take shape. It's 4.30 a.m. here. Why am I so early? Well, it's 10.30 a.m. here. Um, for me, it's not that early. I, um, I've been given um, the okay to do a spot of gaming today. The rest of my family are busy with other things that don't involve me, which is quite nice, actually. And, um, so there you go. I do need to break off for a little bit in a couple of hours. And I don't know how long I'm here for the rest of the day. But we will get as much farming as we can done. Done. Yeah, we need wheat and canola. Well, canola we're harvesting in July from all of these fields. Got a pretty good uh, yield coming up, I think. This one, this one, and the far one. And then we've got, uh, we'll have oat that we'll harvest at the same time in July. So we're saving up for the harvester. And then uh, we will be planting um, canola again, and we will plant some wheat. We'll plant the canola in August, and we will plant the wheat in uh, September. And we will be able to harvest them both in uh, July, following July. Perfect. I don't think there's anything else to do today, actually. Um, the grass has not been growing because of the winter. Not ready to harvest or anything? Or did I harvest it already? No, there's no way I did, right? It's just not, uh, it just doesn't seem to be growing for some reason. Grass. Ah, it is growing. Sorry, I had it, uh, I had it unticked. Had it unticked. It's all. It's almost. I think uh, March we'll have. Uh, we'll be able to do it. So we can do some seeding, and then we can cut the grass as well. In the meantime, it's just the usual. Just fill up the greenhouses, load up the truck, make some sales, and let's try to get this. Um, let's try to get this harvester bought. Mister Sis, my wife is pregnant with our first. Do you have any sage advice? Um. Well. No amount of preparation will actually prepare you. Um, when you're in the thick of it, just remember that they're not little for that long. Um, it can be tough, but it will get easier. Um, and just try to enjoy it. Because before you know it, they are old. Er, at least. And uh, you'll miss you'll miss them being little babies, for sure. <clears throat> they, it's It's nice. It's nice when they're little babies. Yes, chef. Speaking of sales, what's on sale? Um, I think we checked yesterday. It's just this huge... Um, this is a tipper trailer uh, for no, no no real crop types. Just looks like it's for, well, sugar cane and uh, meatballs and straw. and It's like uh, foragey sort of kind of stuff, you know? Just, just some some foragey stuff. All right, let's skip through to um, March then. Why not, eh? We'll fill up the... Um, Get the water filled up too. What about 5G stuff? Well, we're not quite there yet. We don't have the technology. 3G and 4G is about as far as we go. 
five of G, I mean, it cook your brain. It'll make you, um, it'll make you vote Democratic as well. Let's stay away from all that. Oh, it's snowing. All right. It is snowing. It is snowing. Let's clear all this out so that there's space for the new stuff to to do its thing. We've got the strength. We've got the super strength. We might as well do it, right? If we're going to cheat this much, we might as well extend the cheating a little. It's March. How much water is left? Still quite a bit. See, these, this load will be a, a lesser load, right? Because there's we're missing some uh, some key ingredients for our, our big loads. We'll wait till it's daytime, and then we can start the seeding and stuff, and continue loading some of this stuff up. fill up the uh, water tanks here and then we'll make a start on the uh, on the seating. In fact, I can come back and load this up. We can get uh, Al started on the seating. This is WoW music, Cad. Yeah. I found a playlist with 14 hours of WoW music on it. So we're listening to WoW music today. We don't have to listen to it all day, but... Some of it is very nostalgic for me. Oh, you take your car to work. I'll take my board. Alright, good. Let's change the crop type over to oats. We can get started on the big field. We'll be fertilizing and seeding at the same time. So once it's seeded, it's got to be rolled. And we're good to go. I'll load up the truck in the, uh, in the meantime while this guy makes a start. This is the uh, the night elf starting music, isn't it? The night elves once a proud race, you know the uh, the intro stuff for them. That's the music that plays. Mm. 
Yeah, it's like the Darnassus kind of music. What do I have for breakfast on Christmas Eve? Uh, cereal or toast or whatever? Do, 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 do. This is like original Warcraft music. Alright, good. She's all loaded up for now. How much honey is there? A little bit of honey? Um... Hello, man. What are you doing? Why? Why have you? There must be another little like bit of wood or something here that I missed. There's something preventing him from doing this job. Oh, you meant to say this morning, which is the eve of Christmas Eve. Oh, this morning on the eve of Christmas Eve, I had toast. I had some peanut butter toast. Very Christmassy, isn't it? Um, two of my kids were sick last night, which was interesting. Weird, though. They were they were throwing up uh, a little. and um, But this morning, they feel a lot better. So I don't know. I don't know how that works, but... If I'm sick and throwing up, I'm I'm out for the count. But there you must just be like a little stomach bug or something. I don't know. Maybe some Christmas stress, possibly. I've never known them to experience any Christmas stress, but there you go. But yeah, a little bit of a little bit of barfing. The baby, luckily, no barfing. My uh, my older kids will generally make it to the toilet on time. The baby will just barf wherever she is and whatever she's doing. If she's if she's like um, if she's watching Bluey on her iPad, she's puking on it. She doesn't know what to do. You know. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Kat, I'm enjoying Hearthstone a little bit at the moment. Yeah, Battlegrounds has been fun. I played a little bit last night. I was I, I was all set to pretty much win a game. I had to concede because of some barfing. But them's them's are unfortunately sometimes the breaks. Um I tend to to uh to play it as my daughter is falling asleep, my my youngest, the baby, cuz she falls asleep on the on the couch normally. Um, I don't know how we got into this routine, but she just does. But anyway, she refers to Hearthstone as POW. She wants to watch POW. She likes, because of the, the sound all the little, the little um, tokens make when they hit each other. You know, that POW. 
And then she likes the uh, the effects when your hero um, hits like the other hero at the end. So right before bed, she says, I want my book. <laughs> She's got this like lift the flap airport book that you have to read to her every night. And then as soon as the book is done, I want to watch POW. <laughs> So then I play some Hearthstone while she's sort of dozing off, but before she dozes off, she likes to press the hero uh, power abilities, which sometimes is fine, and other times I'm like, no, 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 not now, <laughs> trying, trying, to, uh, trying to teach her the timings. And she said, uh, and she likes to touch the, uh, the board, you know, like the, the Hearthstone board. It's got like that, that wood effect, and if you, if you tap on it, it makes the satisfying little you know, knocking on wood sound. I want to touch the wood. <laughs> She's getting really good at talking. I want to touch the wood. Okay, all right, you touch it. I want to use my thumb. <laughs> she uses her thumb. It's like, talk, talk, talk. Oh, man, it's funny. She's like a little robot. That's incredible. Yeah, next, yeah, that'll be the next uh, big voice line. Yeah, that's incredible. And uh, when we, when I start playing, um, you know, like I, I get my turn ready or whatever, and then like the, the the combat starts. She's watching and she's like, "Oh no, Dada! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no!" <laughs> like she's like all worried. Like, don't worry, don't worry. I win this all the time. There's nothing to worry about. It's good fun. It's, it's sweet. Sweet. So I woke up this morning and she's like, I want to watch POW. And my wife's like, what is this? What does she want to watch? POW. I said, yeah, she wants to watch Hearthstone. She's like, oh, how convenient. Let me guess. <laughs> You're going to watch some right now, aren't you? I was like, well, I mean, if the baby, the baby wants to watch it, I mean, what can I do? Sometimes you just gotta give in, you know? Alright. May maybe now this guy can actually do this job properly. Let's see. Do 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 how old's the baby? She's two and a bit. She'll be th she'll be three in July, so she's like two and a half. Already. I can't believe she's two and a half already. She walks, she talks, she's getting ready to start potty training. Incredible. Alright, so there's no um there's no oil and I believe there's no bread this load either. But we are um, we will have a little bit of furniture and uh, planks. I need to check to see where we're at with food for the sheep. I'm not too worried about. We do have uh, 40 sheep now, though. Okay, I have got to feed these chickens today. Oh, my God. Oh, no. In my haste, I've caused a huge industrial accident. Hearthstone Pro at five? Well, maybe. Oh yeah, we bought barley for them last time, didn't we? I love the... Uh, I love the war drums in this, uh, in the Orgrimmar music. Boom, 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 boom. Sounds so cool. We need about 9,000 liters of barley from the farm shop. Am I a bit of a pushover when it comes to the kids? I think you've got to be a little bit. It just, it, it depends, really. Like, it's, I don't know. Oh, I like 
this song too, actually. It's a good one. This tractor is a lot slower than the other one, eh? You don't really realize until you actually have to use it. Right, so we want... Uh, we're going the wrong way. We want some barley. Seven grand we just spent on these chickens. And for what? Well, I guess they make a lot of eggs, but... I, I just don't know how much money we're now making off of eggs by buying their feed. But next year we should have some extras. This one too, actually. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, they, it's the I, I don't know what what it is with the war drums. They're, they I just find them so cool. Can I sing you some Michael Jackson? Oh, man, it's too early in the morning. What is this? Is this the Undercity music? I believe it is. Alright. Chickens fed. There's a little bit extra here, too. Alright, we can start rolling um, with this guy right behind um, the seating. We might as well. And is this grass ready to be mowed too? Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll do that with the seeding. Aren't you lucky? A, sa a Saturday falconry stream. Just on time. Nice. Sorry, I'm just drinking uh, the last of uh, lukewarm tea. I think I'll be able to. Uh, I think I'll be able to do that other line there before that guy finishes. Right, we're going a lot faster than he is. have to go and um, fill up the fertilizer and the and the seed in between fields I believe oops This guy is not struggling to roll this whole edge of the field here, so I don't know what the issue is with the... There must have been something in the way. Maybe like a little bit of wood or something?
preemptive Merry Christmas. Hey, Ash, Ash Spark, thank you so much, and Merry Christmas to you too. Yeah, there probably is not going to be a stream tomorrow. I think this will probably be the last one until after Christmas. We got uh, we got lots to do tomorrow, and then obviously uh, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, we're probably out as well. I th think uh, I'll be around for a little bit in between Christmas and New Year's, though. When is after Christmas? Like, it's like after Boxing Day, I guess. I might, I might be around on the 27th. It just depends what we're doing, like, with family and stuff. What's up, Dowie? I'm good, thanks. How are you? What's that? What opening music is this for? Dwarves. Thunder Bluff. Is this the Thunder Bluff opening music? Is it the Darnassus one? Trolls. Yeah, we are listening to WoW music, yeah. Some bangers on here. Does anybody know what Jeff Kaplan is doing now? It's been a while since he left um, Blizzard. Like, is he, is he still in the industry, or is he, is he got like a clause where he's not allowed to do anything for a couple of years or say anything or something? He murdered a guy. No way. Was it Winston Churchill? Oh, did he go to Riot? With, uh... Oh, is he at Riot with, um... Like, Ghostcrawler and all those other... Wow people that... Sort of moved away? Oh, Ghostcrawler left Riot. Oh, right. He was working on, a, on an MMO there, wasn't he? Oh, he's making his own MMO in a new studio. Is it, um... Not, nothing to do with Mike Morheim's, um... What is it? Dreamhaven or whatever. I wonder what they're working on. Alright. Seating is done, man. Seating is so fast with this thing. We gotta go fill it, fill it up, though. We'll leave uh, Al to finish the rolling. Oh, he just made his own studio with someone from Blizzard? Fair enough.
Metzen Studio, I think, was making board games. So it may still be going. I don't think Metzen was working on any uh, video games. I think he was working on board games and, like, lore D&D stuff. But, yeah, I mean, he's back at... He's back at Blizzard now, so who knows? Alright, seeds? Might as well just use what we've got here, actually. Tidy up this place a little bit. That is a mess. I don't know who left this place in such a mess. When I find out, don't worry. It was you, Dowie? Was it? You're gonna ban yourself? Dowie, come on. That's not the, that's not in keeping with the Christmas spirit. What if Jesus banned himself, Dowie? Then what? Where would we be? I just wish you could be a little bit more like Jesus. No, he did not. He did, I guess. He gave himself a three-day ban. Just like a minor suspension. Okay, we're going to plant some oats here as well. This is the Thunder Bluff stuff, isn't it? Isn't this Mulgore or is this... Um, Durtar. Durtar. <laughs> Yeah, I think it is Barons. I think you're right. Yeah, this all, all these oats are going to be um, made into flour when uh, they're harvested. It's going to be it's going to get bread back up and rocking. We don't have any other uh, wheat planted for this year. So we're going to be making bread with oat flour until uh, the next harvest. But between that time, hopefully, we'll be able to buy some more land and do some more fields. Oh, is this Westland? Westland music? The West, Westland? West, West, Westfall? Westfall. I think this, I think you're right, you know, I think this is Westfall music. I couldn't think of the name of the place for a sec. Westland. <laughs> How many years did I play WoW? I, I played WoW for a long time, but I didn't pay attention to like the names of places and stuff. Uh, you know what I'm like. Most of it was like, uh, oh yeah, let's go to the purple zone. <laughs> it's just kind of made up my own names for things and my own lore and didn't really pay attention. Yeah, this is Duskwood, yeah. This is the music that Stitches murders you to. It's 
Some of the music is so atmospheric, isn't it? Like this is this is really spooky. Really spooky music. Some of the new stuff smacks. Yeah, honestly, like I, I, I don't think uh, anybody's got an issue with um, Blizzard's uh, sound and art and cinematic uh, departments. <laughs> it's, it's mainly just <laughs> their design teams. Who honestly sometimes it it feels like all they do is smoke crack in the office. Dragonfly will go down well because it doesn't have any systems. It barely has any, except for... It looks like they're going to keep the, uh, the, the, the flying, though, right? Based on the, the info for the new expansions, it looks like that is, that is staying. Which I think would be crazy not to keep. The, the flying was, was really well done. And I guess it, it opened it up so that they could make really big zones and stuff too, right? Next month it's unlocking in all zones? What, like across all the expansions? <clears throat> I played a bit of Landlord Super, yeah. Are you still playing a lot of WoW, Cad? Or not really? Oh, it unlocks at level 10. Oh, man. That's great. That's such a good change, actually. I think giving people stuff like that doesn't take away from the game. It just makes the game better, right? I think there was always this fear that, Oh, well, if they have this really overpowered flying, they're going to miss all of this and this and that and that. It's like, if you want to see that stuff... You can just not fly and experience it if you really want to experience it that badly. I'd say most people that play WoW now are people that have been playing it for a long time. I don't think it gets a heck of a lot of new players. I think it's, I think it's way better because it makes it so that the people who are playing the game can just do the things that they want to do quicker, right? It shouldn't be such a slog to level up a new character. And I think they've made the game a lot more alt-friendly, which is something that people have been complaining about for years and years and years, right? People want to be able to still feel like they're making progress regardless of what character they're playing on. The focus is more like on your account now rather than what character you're playing. It probably is all just 30 to 40 year olds. Yeah, it's an old game. It's an old game that I don't know if it necessarily really appeals to like the new generation of gamers, right? I think that the new generation of gamers is mostly brought up playing probably Minecraft and Fortnite and will just either continue playing those games or branch out into, especially people who play for, a lot of Fortnite. I'd imagine that they would branch out into other hardcore competitive games, right? I mean, that's a, that's that's a general 
take, though. I mean, obviously, the, it gets some new players, and there's people who are interested in, in raiding and stuff. I mean, WoW raiding is is really well done. It always has been really well done. Um, and, you know, some people just like the look of it. They just want to, like, experience the lore and all that kind of stuff, too. I, like, I'm sure it does get new players, but I'd, I'd say prob probably for the most part it is old returning players, right? It's got to be. All right. We need to fill this thing up again for... Um... Actually, we don't need to do it now. Let's wait and do it uh, when we actually need to do it. Uh, while he's uh, rolling the other side, we can uh, cut the grass. Bail it all up. It's not bad money, actually. Turns out the silage bales... It takes a little while, but it's like 15k for a load on, on the current field that we have. We could scale that up, too, if we wanted to. I can't believe how much the sheep reproduced. Crazy. And now we've we got three bushels, three full bushels of wool stored up now, too, for when we start getting into fabrics and stuff. Let us, let us mow the grass. No, I don't think there is a huge MMO for the younger generation. I just, I think a lot of games now are kind of like MMO light, right? It's like they are on the scale where they have lots of players, but it's not in the same format. It's not like a big open world. You know, WoW is, 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 is the EverQuest formula, which, I mean, it's an old formula, right? They don't tend to really make games like that now. It, it, the the games that they make that are kind of like hugely multiplayer are, are a bit more like I I think they're like Destiny now right it's instanced and then you'll have lobbies which I mean WoW just kind of turned into really the the big cities are just huge lobbies aren't they that's where people just idle when they're not doing something. There's no World War II online for Zoomers? No, there's not a lobby in that one either, actually. Do they still have the interactive um, uh, website map that shows you the uh, the progress of the war when you're not able to uh, to get online? Get into the team speak and join German or Allied High Command? You don't know Dowie. You should know Dowie. Come on. You're you're my source for this stuff. If you don't know, then who does? You liked Hell Let Loose, but apparently they ruined it? Really? How did they ruin it? I know a certain someone who 
is no longer with us, but might be very upset by that. Yeah, I know about Dan going on the traders. Yeah. On Peacock. I'll, I don't know how I can watch it, but I want to try to watch it. Oh, so a new company bought it and changed it? All right. Oh, Team 17 bought it and monetized it. Uh, so what? A lot of the uh, a lot of the hardcore fans are uh, are done with it now. Has it seen like a player exodus, or do you think it's actually helping the game? It's completely free to play now. Yeah, I used to play World War II online as well. It was I think that's the first big multiplayer game I ever played. I was mad into it. I loved it. I think it was one of those games where I'm not sure I was actually enjoying myself at the time playing it, but it just had so much potential. You you play it and you just think, oh my god, like, imagine the possibilities with this game. Uh, and then you play it for a while and you realize, yeah, I don't know if this game can actually deliver many, if any, of the possibilities that I've imagined. <laughs> Unfortunately, but there you go. It's an old game. It's an old game, and it's made by a really small studio, isn't it? I, I don't even mind so much that the graphics and stuff, like, aren't amazing, but there's just certain things that will always just let it down I think like the lighting at night is fucking god awful like it's just pitch black like there's just no maybe they've changed that I don't know but when I used to play it there was no moon so it was just just like an abyss it was so dark you couldn't see anything you didn't know what was going on half the time The mowing is done. Now we bail. Oh yeah, we need to um, configure this, right? We've got to unfold it. Uh, we want to change the bail size to 150. We want to turn on the automatic drop as well. And the bail counter is already reset. Since we've never used this one. This is the second hand one that we bought. After buying the brand new one, 
we bought uh, we traded in the brand new one bought the second hand one and uh we managed to make uh, 20 grand off of the um off the transaction so pretty nice and now we have pink wrap for the bales too We paid two grand for that little stick at the end that makes the bale fall flat instead of rolling around. Is it worth it? What's today's stain song of the day? Um, which one is it today, chat? What what's what stain song are we listening to today? What's the uh, What's the evolution? What are we what are we on now? Has this guy actually done it? He's done some of it. There's still some bits missing, but he has mostly done it with the Valtra, which is honestly commendable. It looks like he just missed the one line here. The next single is called I Killed Winston Churchill and I Do It Again. You'd do anything for another tier drop tattoo next to his next to his eye that guy he's obsessed I'm not sure which uh, which bit he missed honestly I think it's there Perfect. This is Westfall, isn't it? This is the Westfall music. Nice, big field roll.
Okay, let's carry on with this. Oh, I love that sound, the plasticky, the stretchy plasticky sound that the bale makes. Or is it the sound of the, of the, of the plastic snapping? <clears throat> no, the bale is not as hot pink as I was expecting either, but it's still reasonably pink. It's a lot more pink than it was before, that's for sure. This is the wetlands, right? Wetlands music? Dunmoral. I don't know if it is Dunmoral. It sounds like wet it sounds like wetlands music to me. Oh, maybe it's Stranglethorn, yeah, you might be right actually. It could be Stranglethorn Vale. Actually, come to think of it, I think it is Stranglethorn. I think you're right. They, uh, they changed the Booty Bay music somewhere uh, along the line too, didn't they? There's like an original one and then there's a changed one. One of the expansions, I think. Maybe it was Cataclysm changed it? Had more of like a, like a Hearthstone kind of um, sound to it after it was changed. This is definitely Stranglethorn now. <laughs> I've been ganked to this music as well, yeah. Pretty sure every time I have ever been ganked in World of Warcraft was in Stranglethorn. I've been camped outside of Booty Bay a couple of times as well, I'm sure of it.
That's a wrap. What's in the bale? I just got an achievement. I guess I've made a lot of bales. Yeah, I find the WoW music gives me a bit of an itch as well. But I'm, I've never been tempted to really go back and play classic or anything, though. I just... I know, I know for a fact I would just lose interest super fast. Yeah, retail. I, well, last time I played a lot of WoW, I played Dragonflight, and it was it was good. I really enjoyed it. We were raiding and everything. We yeah, actually that was really fun raiding. Um, we had a, we had a decent team. Krelly stole all the loot, but it was still fun. We did pretty good. We we were we did. Um, well, we only did the first raid because that's how long we played for. But we did, uh, we cleared the whole thing normal. And we did uh, hardcore right up to the last boss, which is, I mean, for just a bunch of people cobbled together, it was pretty good. In March, they're doing a season with all three raids in, and it'll rotate each week if you wanted to catch up. Oh, wow. I don't know if I really want to catch up, but it does sound kind of cool. I can try to clean up some of this grass if it'll let me. Some of it's not on my land, but I think the stuff where it's been cut we might have access to maybe just get another bale one one more bale out probably not actually No, I didn't watch any of the uh, recent race to uh, World First, no. I haven't really watched any any WoW stuff for a while. Our method um our method done? Are they still do are they still going but like uh a lot of people left, didn't they? They had like a bunch of controversy. They're still in the recent one? Yeah. It's all liquid and echo these days. All right. I like a race to world first, though. I love the reactions of the people when they finally get it. They just go so crazy, but I mean, understandably, they 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 grind it hard. Fuck, they're up for like days doing it. You just binge Silo in two days? In one day? I haven't even watched it yet. I heard it's good, but I haven't. I watched like just the start. I need to. I need to get on that. Actually, I completely forgot to uh, watch it. My wife doesn't want to watch it, so it makes it more difficult. We've been watching Boiling Point, which has been really good. The series. I think we'll watch the movie uh, 
after we're done watching the series, which will probably clear up some of the stuff in the series. Although I think the series does a pretty good job of explaining stuff from the uh, from the movie. It, it, it takes place after the events of the movie, the series. Is that all the bales? Yep. lot of food um, the babies are 25% into puberty now 40% reproduction so god I can't believe 20 sheep made 20 sheep just like that crazy just out of nowhere really The the TBC soundtrack's good because it's got all the Cinderay stuff, doesn't it? Like the uh, the um, what's the what's the song, the Sylvanus one? It's like the um, I can't remember what it's called. It's so good though. Lam yeah, that's right. That's the one. Lament of the Highborn. The one where it goes. <laughs> that that one. Sorry, cat. I don't know if you're still able to enjoy it now after I've ruined it, but. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I do a really good Sylvanas uh, impersonation. Is this just uh, tavern music or is this Booty Bay music? This is just uh, generic in music, isn't it? Five liters of honey. How are we doing for planks in the furniture um, place? It's getting low. All right, planks we will need to um, change to distributing. We need to uh, we need to bulk it up. Quite a few jobs to do today, actually, surprisingly. It's a busy farm.
just gotta th thread the needle a little here. We could probably get three more in. Sorry, chickens. Sorry. Maybe two more? Two more big ones? Three small ones? How's my driving? Dial 1-800 each hit. <laughs> oh my god. I think we can fit a little bit more in actually. I just stole your real life actual phone number, <laughs> sorry. Cut it down a little bit so that it's not sticking out in the road. Perfect. That's full. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is the uh, the music for when you're dead. The ghost music. Give her a good spray down. Oh, 
March. <coughs> March we planted. That's what was happening. Is he actually done? Yep. Nice. <coughs> okay, we're in, we're in the Burning Crusade now. so good. The music is so good. Holy crap. Doesn't even need a wash. The tractor is, is looking fine. Wash the roller. <coughs> The Blood Elf music is really nice. Sorry. <clears throat> Okay, I think we're done for March. I think that's everything ready. We're rolled. Oh, look at all this. So we're harvesting in July, and uh, we need to make some uh, a little bit of money before then to buy the big harvester, right? And the silage can start uh, fermenting. Sorry, the grass can start fermenting into silage, I should say.
Is this Exodar music? Sounds like like space goat music. o'clock. We'll stop it. It's April. We want to check um, some sales and stuff like that. Probably load up here. Check to see how many planks have been distributed to the furniture factory. So it was getting low. Having a lot of trouble here. I guess we could just put together a huge load. You guys want to put together just a huge one? I think this is the music in the uh, in the Drenai um, starting area, right? The drain -ay. The drain -ay. The drain -ay. All right. Planks. Distributing to furniture. Planks are back up. Need some more water here. Perfect. Oh, and we want to check the animals, too, to see what they're up to. No reproductions yet. The chickens don't need to be fed just yet either. Drunai. Oh shit, it didn't fill up. Uh, oh, wait. Hang on. Let's start loading all this stuff up and we can sell this. What do we need? 580, right? For the harvester? There's a big Volvo truck, 52% off. There's also a um, tractor here. That has 171 horsepower, so it's a, I guess it's a medium. A Zetor Crystal HD 170. And there's a sugar beet harvester thing there, too.
I don't know. I don't know why it does that. It's just like some weird, weird physics, I guess. It's not going anywhere, by the way. I flick the straps and everything, so it's no chance of it going anywhere. Let's grab this furniture. There's three, three boxes, three pallets, I should say. All right, good. It's not the biggest load that we've ever sold, but. I think this will probably be about 60k or so, maybe a little bit more. Close the curtain. No, no, it's all strapped in. You don't need to close it. You need to be able to, to watch it all sell. The final verdict is oh, 92. have enough now if I sell the smaller one? I don't know if we do actually. I'll check. We check the sales, right? There's nothing. So if we want the absolute biggest, the Lexian 8900, it's 489,000, right? Um, and then if we want the header, <coughs> uh, it's another 90,000, but it's got a 13.8 meter spread. Um, this one doesn't have, oh yeah, this one does have the wheels attached to it. I 
don't know if it folds up. So 90 grand on top of, so four nine, so it's 480 all in. Yeah, if we sell the old stuff, I think we have just enough to buy it now. Because we can sell this for 45, and then we can sell the top liner he header and the top liner trailer for 31, right? All right, fine. It is time. We've been saving for this. And now we will be able to harvest quicker. There's a bigger harvester. I don't think there's a bigger harvester. I think there's probably a different header I could use. This served us well. This harvested many fields for us. Many. Let us never forget the top liner. We'll give the top liner a, a good send off in the machine shop. Top liner, you were so good, just the best. And now it's time for us to sell you for 12,000 bucks for your header. The trailer we're gonna sell for 637 bucks. And it looks like we're gonna get 50 grand for this thing, even though it's not in great condition. And just like that. She's gone. Okay. Nothing on sale. Let's grab this harvester. We're getting the Lexian 8900. Configuration big. Configuration big gives us 3,000 liters extra capacity. You want to go big. All right, we're going big. We're going in for a big one. All right, and do we want the Convio Flex 1380? For 90 grand? <coughs> This is going to allow us to harvest all of the stuff that we have.
God, it's a, this is a tank. Look at this thing. Look, we're driving this thing back to the farm for the very first time, and the fields are all like, oh my god. Look at that thing. They are shuddering. Yeah, it's, it's so much faster. Well, I don't have any money now. Spent all my money on this. Harvest something. We will. In, uh, like, three months. <laughs> we'll be able to make some money back in that time, actually. It's pretty good. Alright, April. The, the, uh, the silage is not ready yet. Neither is the... Has the grass grown here yet? Oh, it's still going. Yes. I'm going to fill this up. basically just want to fast forward through the night to the morning and then check sales and check the state of the fields and stuff and then if everything's good then just fast forward again and rinse and repeat right until we get to uh, months where we need to actually do fuck
I usually, I usually um, stop the uh, the speed time at around seven in the morning. I think that's usually a pretty good time to do it. And then load up the truck, check the sails, check the weather forecast, go give an apple to Abigail and deliver a beef stew to Pete and then uh, compliment Pam on her titties <laughs> and we're, the day is done. Sales. Whoa, look at this. Look at the Ponzi Bison active frame. It's got the uh, the built-in. It's got it's got the loading arm, but it's got the the built-in uh, truck for it too. Very nice. Chinese here? 150 liters? Nothing needs to be done on the fields. It's May. Look at all of this delicious growth. Oh, yes! Alright, I have to go for a little break pretty soon. Let's load up some more, uh, some more of the truck and then... Uh, and then I'll go take a little break. Which WoW expansion is this? Uh, this is Cataclysm. This is the music. Uh, I don't know if you remember when Deathwing, uh, he gets really angry and he's ready to just like ace the entire world. This is the song that's playing in the background. doing anything else for me so wait we might be doing something for me yeah we are of course we are yeah honestly if you skip cataclysm you, you missed out uh, this was an incredible moment Look, they got the heat lamps on in there for the sheeps. Where'd all the money go? Look, cast your eye to the horizon. I'll give you a hint. It's green and red and white and cost 600 grand.
do do How's the midlife crisis going? Well, as you can see, it is still raging on. How much Wonga have we made? I don't know. I think we've made a couple of million by now. But most of it has just been um, invested back into the uh, into the farm. Check how much your farm is worth, yeah. Oh, maybe not actually. You can just see your balance. It would be nice to see the uh, the, the our, our total uh, worth based on all the fields and machines and everything that we own. That would be cool to see. I don't know. Maybe there's a like a mod that can do it. Maybe Dowie could just write one in between um, World War II online sessions. He can secure Caen and then um, write a little mod. We need a full-time bookkeeper? We have one. Named Al. 
Al is very stressed out. Pretty much all of the time, it turns out. last little bit. Alright, chat. I'm gonna put the uh, mower away since we're done with it. We'll have to bail when I get back. Am I bailing on you? Yeah, just for a minute though. I just gotta go um, do something really quick. I'll go, I'll take a little uh, bathroom break and stuff too. And then when I'm back, we can, uh, we can bail this stuff up, okay? All right, I won't be long chat. I'll see you in a sec, okay? Oh. Did you miss me? I'm so sorry. <laughs> That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Man, you know when you sit down and you're taking a crap and you're like, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to take about 10 craps. It's one of those. Just a, just a 10 crap situation. Sorry. No, I didn't even bring back tea or anything. Disgraceful, I know. Am I sending my mods for a spa day this Christmas? Um... Yeah. Yeah, I am. That's exactly what I'm doing this Christmas. I know. Oh, awesome, eh? God. Send you the details? Okay, Dowie. I'll send them to you after, okay? Better, you better get ready to receive those details because they are coming. After I'm done um, playing Farming Simulator. <laughs> yeah, they're coming, Dowie. Don't worry. Brace yourself. And Dowie's I got Dowie a spa day, and um, Erica, I got you a uh, bowling ball with my name on it. Jardim's, I got you uh, five gift subs. Caduceus, I got you uh, one gift sub. Merry Christmas. I forgot. I forgot it was Christmas. I just, you know, I had so much, uh, so much stress. I had so much to do. I'm uh, trying to make a billion dollars here. And... Yeah, I mean, I put Schlager on. Bit of a break from the wow music. Oh, maybe we should get this bit. Yes, chef. Oh, yes, chef. Oh, yes. There we are. Do 
Do me and my wife get presents for each other? Dowie? We do not. We're not we're not big Christmas enjoyers on that front. We never have been really. We just get stuff for the kids. And usually usually there's like one or two bits and pieces under the tree for us as well, so we can like join in with opening, but they usually just from like, you know, Lewis sends us stuff sometimes. Uh, my wife's parents usually just get us a couple of bits and pieces because they know that we don't really do gifts. And uh, honestly, we don't even really exchange that many gifts. Like, like all the adults in our family, we, we don't exchange gifts. We just, well, on my wife's side, which is the side that's like close to where we live. We just get stuff for the kids. Erica sends stuff too. Yeah, sorry, Erica. You do send stuff. That's true. But yeah, I don't know. It's, so we've never really been like big into like uh, into like gift gifts and stuff. Yeah, it is kind of stressful getting stuff for everyone. And honestly, like uh, we're just we're just like watching TV and eating and hanging out and stuff. It's, you can just do without the gifts, you know. Yeah, eating. Eating is is nice, Dowie. You're right. It's so nice. Love eating. Ninety percent of Christmas spirit is all the food. Oh man. Yeah, I do like some. Christmas food. I just like, uh, just like eating and then just watching some movies. It's nice. Especially if it's like cold and miserable outside, you know, you look outside and you're, you're indoors, you're warm, you've eaten, just watching some movies, great. I just think like with gifts, I, I appreciate the uh, the gesture and stuff. I mean, like, I'm not saying like you, Erica. I like the the stuff that you you send is is great. But generally, like, the the like uh, you know how people are like, oh no, I better not buy that because Christmas is soon or whatever. Like, I I just buy it. <laughs> I just, just think if I need it, I'll I'll get it. I, like, I'm not I'm not depending on Christmas for anything uh, essential, you know. What are the two numbers tracking at the bottom? The the amount of bales. Actually, I forgot to reset the counter, so it's counting the bales from this time, but it's also counting the bales that we picked up last time we did this, which was uh, two months ago. Started at 13 bales. Okay, we should get around the same. I think. I don't know if the yield will go down because we haven't really been treating the field. Your family has dinner, open gifts, and then they rot together in the living room. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's pretty standard, isn't it? I think most. Uh most families do some some variation of that. I mean, we, we, we essentially do the same thing. Just, we don't really open gifts. Because, uh, <laughs> we just don't really tend to buy each other any. But my kids, uh, my kids open. Like, everybody gets gifts to the kids, so they... But if, I don't know, there's not like a huge song and dance about it. They just kind of open them and it's done, you know? You guys do that thing where you have to like wait for each individual person to open one and then go ooh ah and stuff. Do you yeehaw after the the gift is open? That's kind of cool.
I think the best thing you can get somebody is like some food. You know, like chocolates or something like that, right? If you want to get something, like somebody a gift for Christmas or like some vegan jerky. Hell yeah. Socks. Yeah, socks occasionally. It really just depends. You guys want to listen to some... Uh, oh, I know what we didn't really listen to yesterday. You took your mom on a quick trip as her main gift? Where did you take her? Vegan jerky is surprisingly good. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I've actually had much non-vegan jerky in my life where I'd be able to like really compare. But uh, I mean, I think it's pretty good. It tastes nice. New York City, wow. Looking at, looking, overlooking the um, World Trade Center, the, the new, what's it called, like Freedom Tower? One Freedom Tower or something? It's an impressive building, it's really nice. Started at 13, so it's about the same. Maybe just one one extra. Wait, have we have we gotten more bales this time than last time? There was about half a bale in the baler already too, though, wasn't there? So the yield seems to be about the same. Um, I'm back. I think I um. I wish I knew what happened, but I don't. I don't think it's my internet. I, I think it's a Twitch thing. We can't mix the loads. No, Teagles, I haven't watched the video yet. Well, what? 12 minutes, though, man. Oh, hey, Teagles, I thought you weren't going to be here today. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh, I should have just said yeah. Fuck, why didn't I say yeah? Yeah, I watched it. I loved all the bits that I was in it. Best. Man. My favorite part of Teagles' video was around the 12 minute mark when it finally ended. After what felt like an eternity of watching a YouTube video. Oh yeah, the plot twist really caught me off guard big time.
Do 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 do. Oh, hey. Good. It's another another collection of silage. We're not. Uh, we haven't even started making a dent in the uh, in the grass that we collected for the sheep. So that's good. Do I actually need to roll this, do you think? Or do you think I can get away with uh, not rolling it and it'll just grow again? Probably just grow again, realistically, right? Or do you think rolling it actually preps it? Please fertilize the grass this time. The roller doesn't help in precision farming. So you don't think we need this roller at all? It just needs to be sprayed. Should I just get rid of this thing? I mean, we need the money. It's one less job to do, right? Does rolling actually increase the yield, though? Oil seed and rolling don't function at all in precision farming. Really? Does mulching? Mulching does, okay. So you think spraying is the way to go? Do I have to lime the field too, or do you think just spraying is enough? Whoa. does not like this. I think maybe we have to roll it first to be able to apply the, uh, the spray. No, it's not out of spray. It does not like uh, being sprayed. Maybe it doesn't want to, um, maybe, maybe it doesn't want to be sprayed, like, first thing after it's harvested. Maybe it's got to have, grow a little. to do it tomorrow instead. We've got about 5,000 liters of wool here now, by the way. How are these sheep doing? Still, still um, navigating their way through puberty? <laughs> the chickens probably tomorrow so I think they'll be ready they'll be ready to eat then
try to do the big um, harvest this stream. Got two two more months to go. Yeah, we got the we got the harvester, so we're we're ready to rock and roll. Tractor turned on for quite some time, accidentally. Okay, there's nothing really left to do in May, except for assemble a, a, a big load. And we can just skip forward to June. No bread, no canola oil. We'll have furniture though, and eggs, and a bit of honey. I just 
got an achievement called Fluffiness, Building Up a Wool Empire. I must have created quite a bit of wool. But this is a big boy. Jeez, look at the horsepower on this thing. 33% off, my body to pay for it what this old thing about to throw it away all right let's sell this I think some of the silage is ready today, too. Let me advance time a little bit here. Till about 10 a.m. or so. again. <clears throat> I know. We don't have as many planks this time because during some of the cycles we were uh, refilling the furniture shop. so loud in there. I'm so lazy that I won't even open the other side of the uh, curtain. 
Ryan's dead. Ooh. Oh my god, we almost tipped. Oh, that was close. That was, that was almost it. <clears throat> oh, it's the harvest tomorrow. Maybe this time it'll top 100k. I don't know. I feel like we 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 topped 100k a couple of times when we had. Um, bread and oil as well, but... Sorry, I messed it up. 82 plus 3,000 plus another 1,000. And plus... So was it 86? <clears throat> so it's just under 100. It's like 95. Seven, sorry. There you go. Pretty good. Keep an eye on um, production while we're harvesting tomorrow, so that it doesn't um, clog up the output. The, um, I think one of the uh, the silage loads is ready. Unless we just wait and take a big one. Do we need to fertilize that? It hates, um, it hates this field. Precision farming. <clears throat> so is there any point in it being a field even? When it could just be like, uh, you know, we can, we can mow all this grass regardless of it being planted or is the yield higher 
So we're not even doing anything to it. This is not done yet. It'll be done soon, though. I think we just leave it, and then we'll just take a, a full load in a couple of days when the other ones are, are done too, right? <coughs> you don't really need the money right now. I need some barley. I don't need that much, though. <clears throat> Just enough to uh, top them up, but enough to uh, empty the uh, trailer ahead of tomorrow as well, right? We don't want to... Five liters of barley gumming up the, the trailer. Enjoy trifle. Uh, in moderation, yeah. It's not. Uh, it's not something I would want to eat all the damn time. But yeah, every once in a while, if I have trifle, I like it. It's good. Maybe the chickens will eat 1,750 liters of um, grain overnight. Who knows? <clears throat> All right, we're harvesting tomorrow. Try not to get too excited. We're going to be using the new harvester. We got a lot to harvest as well.
We got two fields of oat and three fields of canola. We should check the sails. There is a cultivator. It's a smaller one than the one that we use. I can't believe it. Oh, there's another uh, Massey Ferguson. This is a big one, actually. 305 horsepower? It's not bad. It'd be a, a good uh, upgrade for the, the Valtra. can't sell it if it's uh if it's the wrong way around <laughs> as tempting as it is oh shit has arrived the big day it's july i think we're ready to rock and roll look at that the grass is ready to go again as well Bit of honey. Mm -hmm. 
At what point have we done enough manual loading to justify getting the uh, auto load uh, mod and uh, say that it's not cheating? Never. There is a certain satisfaction to loading up the truck, isn't there? In my opinion. <clears throat> Here we go. million bucks on this thing by the way worth it it's a bit like a spaceship you're right Yeah, the only problem with this one is that it does actually just unload everything onto the floor, so you got to come back in and shovel it all up. It's a bit, bit of a weird design, but... Oh yeah, you can see it filling up. Look at that. See the, the cannoli coming out of the top. Tigo's got to hand shovel the whole field. Because see, all this stuff on the ground right now is really useful stuff. Got a weird horn. So we, we ideally we wanted we would want to do this clockwise, right? So that the pipe is always sticking out the other side.
<clears throat> in course play, can you get them to um, harvest it, like, in a square? Or does the AI still just try to do, like, line by line by line? They can do a spiral or line by line. Nice. I just dumped a little bit of uh, barley on the ground there. I could just use my shovel. <laughs> It's dumping. We can go chuck this right into the uh, oil factory straight away. Yeah, the pipe has an incredible reach, doesn't it? Holy shit, look at it. Looks like uh, oil is back on the menu. That's the stuff. Oh. <laughs> I 
I miscalculated where I needed to be. <clears throat> This thing is way faster than the other one. Holy crap. Once this is uh, done, we can get uh, Al mulching it. No, I didn't keep the smaller harvester. I sold it. I had to sell it to uh, be able to afford this one, but now um, we sold a big load in between. We're back in the money, baby. I think we need a bigger roller next. You want a, a driver's view? There you go. I promise you, I, I almost know what I'm doing. Maybe. I maybe almost sort of know what I'm doing. the header oh it's what is it actually moving
So we're planting again tomorrow. <clears throat> more, more wheat and canola. Yes. God, it takes a long time for it to empty out, huh? All right, next. This is more canola here. Dee 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 doo doo. Oh, look at all this oat. It's a lot of oats. That's gonna be a lot of straw too. Oh crap. All right, let's go dump this into the uh, into the mill. Christmas crustacean. Have a good sleep. Merry Christmas. I probably won't see you again until after Christmas, so have a good one. I hope you have a nice one. Sometimes, Al. Correction. I hate you all the time, Al. What's wrong with this line here? There must be a stump or something still here. What he's done to my field.
On a midnight train to Georgia. Do -do 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 -do. I can't believe it's Christmas Eve tomorrow already. The whole lead up to Christmas has gone so quick. It's Christmas! Do you know that the royalties for that song? So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody. It makes half a million a year for a song that gets pretty heavy airplay in like one country for a month out of the year. Not bad, eh? That's like maybe two months. I guess they kind of start in October. Yeah. Oh, well, either way. Oh, there's a log here. <clears throat> do you need the, if you have course play, do you need that follow me mod as well? Does it work well with it? Because you can get AI to do this for you, right? It can like follow you and load up. Use course play. Does course me? Uh, course me. <laughs> does course play do what follow me does basically? Though, like, could, can you make it using course play? Like, could I get an AI to follow the harvester like this and then go dump where I want him to? God, we're making oil once again and it feels so great.
Hi, Sip Train. What are your plans to do streams? I mentioned how I never heard back from this one job interview. Just want to let you know I did end up hearing back and I got the job. Hey, nice. Nice. Did you have to uh, did you have to go full SmackDown in the in the meantime, or was it just like you just waited and you heard from them and it was fine? Congrats, mummy. Mummy! How's this guy doing? Oh, he's doing pretty good. He missed the spot, though. Any sales going? I'm gonna check in a sec, actually. I hate this move that he's just done. He would have destroyed much of the crop. Nope, there's nothing on sale except for this uh, tractor. 205 horsepower, but it can go up to 305. S entry levels two. So this is the MF8S. It must be a medium tractor. It's not in here. Harvest day. Mm. After this canola field, we'll uh, harvest some oats and then we can get some flour going as well. We want the big roller. Although, we have left rolling up to Al previously and he's done a fairly good job of it. And quick too. He's a fast worker when he wants to. a huge yield on this field. A huge yield on this field. Yeah, this is the biggest harvester. We bought it. playing background it's actually pretty fun it is great there's so many heroes now yeah
Man, he's doing such a good job out here. Look at this mulcher go. He is mulching. One thing I could go check, actually. It's miles away, though. So that's done. And this is 65%. Okay. When do we eat the mutton? We don't. We're going to eat clothing. We should maybe try to spin that up soon. have some wool now <gasps> we have uh, more sheep now too we're almost full was it 65 per pen buy another pen soon they had some more babies you can sell the sheep if you want yeah sell the babies I think you make about 500 bucks per sheep. These ones are almost fully grown. It's 575 for uh, an adult sheep. Maybe we can maybe we can sell some livestock. Maybe that maybe that's a good way to make some huge cheddar cheese in this game. I don't know. I feel like pigs is the way to go if you're going to do that though. What do you call a broke Santa Claus? Saint Nicholas. 
Nicholas. <laughs> Saint Nicholas. <laughs> hey, good one, Dan VR. Thanks. Sam9742, thanks for the 102 months. Jesus Christ. It's a long time. Saint Nickel Nicholas. I'm multitask. 801 bucks for wages? I guess we got two AI workers, realistically. I can't afford all these wages. How long do I get to stream today? Um, it, it could, uh, it could be, um, that I have to go in the next, like, 45 minutes, or maybe longer. I'm not sure. I'm waiting to hear. I might need to go soon. Al doing here? He's doing pretty good, actually. Don't you dare. Will I play Terraria again? I, I don't know is the honest answer. Maybe. You know what? Yeah, I will play it again. I can confidently say that I will probably play Terraria again at some point. Dowie. Shh. Didn't you tell me earlier just to say yeah? I'm trying to do that right now. Jeez, this field alone is probably going to be about 50,000 liters of canola, I think. So good. quite done this guy I don't know what the uh, what the issue is but I guess we'll just finish this last patch and then he can start working on the other field mulching
Hey, Milshin. Merry Christmas to you too. See you uh, after the holidays. Thank you so much. I hope you have a good one. Yeah, Erica, I still have not listened to those playlists. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why am I like this? I need to just lie, yeah. I need to I need to lie more. It's my own fault. Dowie's right. Okay, ask me something. Let's practice chat. Ask me something. Can I be VIP now? Yes. Do I love my wife? Yes. If I'm gonna plant a new crop, which would it be? Yes. Is your peepee small? Yeah. Yes. Am I dumb? Yeah. Yes. This has been really good training. Thank you so much. Is my PB big? Yes. I think this is the way, Dowie. It feels good. It feels really good to just fob people off. Dowie, is this what you do in real in real life as well? It makes everyone instantly happy. That's right. Yeah, until they're not. I know, but that by then you're long gone. You're on Titicaca in a canoe, and they're just like, "Hey, where'd he go?" Another field successfully harvested. I can't believe it. Oh yeah, that's right. We're going to get straw from these oats too, aren't we? Very nice. Boop, 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 boop.
I don't know why I can't just finish this, but there you go. Cannolis. Um, canola oil. Oh my god. Eighty one thousand liters. Soon to be, I think we'll have. A lot of canola. Oh, I love this song. It's so good. Straw mishap there. Oh my god, Al made it all the way to the end. Or did he do his big reversal trick? I'm not sure. these oats and then we can get the flower production going again. You want the all the new Stardew music added to one playlist? Yeah, we can listen to it if you want. Stardew Jams. big mistake.
What's that? What's that Rickyism where he says uh, Ontario in it? Remind me. Worst case Ontario, that's the one. Worst case Ontario. <laughs> God, that's so funny. <laughs> what a show. Oops. It's not rocket appliances. That's a good one, too. Yeah, I like that. Hey, Nick Reedens 88 thank you so much for the five gift subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. Fuck, this disgusting amount of straw. We're going to be bailing. All right, let's go drop this off at the mill and get the production going again. A fair bit of oat here. Just distributing the flour, that's right. Okay, perfect. You can go to college and get your fucking PFD or whatever the fuck it's called, I don't care. <laughs> Beauty is in the eye when you hold her. What's the Totoso one? A Totoso. I a fucking Totoso. We need to start uh, cultivating the next field too, right? Actually, we want to cultivate all of these as they're done. The mulching. The mulching. Fuck, we got, we got a lima mole too? Shit, it's going to be a long day. I need another tractor. It'd be so handy having another big tractor like this so that we could queue up loads of AI jobs behind each other. 
No, I don't think we need to de-stone, luckily. Stop him, because it's raining. I think it's just yellow stones, right? For um for the first cultivate. Yeah, the tractor on sale's got some decent horsepower. It can probably still pull most of the gear that we have. It need to be upgraded though, and we don't quite have enough money for it right now. Uh, yes, if I sell the truckload of uh, greenhouse stuff, I can probably do it. I mean, luckily, right now it's raining anyway, so we can have to unload that guy's trailer much. The Ricky is in videos only five minutes, so you can just play the audio. Are you interested in Rickyisms? Um, yeah, maybe after. Five minutes is definitely better than twelve. That's for sure. Jeez. I missed the spot. Seventeen dollars better. Seventeen dollars, Teagles. Come on, man. Twelve minutes. Oh, Leahy's got some great lines. Yeah, you're right. Ah, 
Um, if we, uh, if we sell this stuff, we can buy that tractor before it's, uh, not on sale anymore. I think it's a, a decent one to have. It's a bit stronger than the Valtra. Can maybe do some, uh, some heavy lifting. I'm just doing the rounds. Looks like oil's back on the menu. sitting out in that trailer without the cover on? Yeah. No, we don't have fabric yet. This will be like 35, 40k. Sorry, I lied. It's uh, 63? 62? Sorry, I, I didn't mean to lie. There's a little tractor on sale that we're thinking of maybe getting. I don't know if we want it. It's 103,000. It's 46 cent off. It's 205 horsepower compared to the Valtra that we have, which is 190. So it's still higher. And the Valtra is able to do quite a few things. But this, uh, this has scope for uh, being upgraded to 305, which is pretty good. What about this US 235 Dynamic? It's a uh, manure spreader. Chat, I just gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, okay? Two sex. Sorry. All right, I gotta go in like half an hour. What the hell is this rain? It's gonna rain until like noon. And then we can continue with the uh, with the harvest. So these guys, how are these guys doing? He's almost done. He's doing really good, actually. Oh, 
Survival of the fitness boys. <laughs> That's a good one too, actually. That is a good one. Oh my god, that is so good. Are we buying this tractor or what? What else do we need to do? Um, I guess we need something... Uh, I mean, the big tractor... If I buy this tractor... This one has enough horsepower to haul around the, uh, the container, right? While the harvest is happening. And then I can have uh, these guys doing all the field prep stuff behind the harvest. And then after that, all we got to do is cut the grass. Worst case, Ontario, you have two tractors to work with. That's true, actually. You know, it's like when you when you consider the worst case, Ontario. Um, engine setup, we can go uh, big straight away, though. 123 for 245. It's uh, it'll cost us 153,000 to get this up to 305 horsepower. I say let's go to 245 horsepower. It's pretty good, right? It'll be able to do a lot of the uh, the jobs that we needed to do, and uh, and pull uh, some some big ass loads of grain. Should we get a front loader attacher on here too? Get the hower on. No, I can't upgrade it fully. But the thing is, it, it it's still... Uh, you know what? We'll put it on when we need it, right? Design, wheel, and then the engine setup will go for straight away. All right. Or, or do we even? 225? Let's go 225 so that we've got money left over to pay people and stuff, right? Because we're we're in between selling loads. Yes. Look at this thing go. Yeah, you can yeehaw if you want. Getting a new tractor is definitely Yeehaw time, I'd say. Oh. Go away, rain. Go away. Stop it. It's meant to stop by now. It's still raining a lot. Still meant to stop. Oh well, we may be harvesting into the night at this rate. If it doesn't stop soon.
Fuck. <clears throat> Rain, stop! Oh my god, it's not meant to be raining this much today. Yeah, this is the last stream before Christmas, uh, sealed facts. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It's clearing. Whew. Alright, let's get this guy back on it. Alright, great. He's almost done this. This guy's still got a bit of mulching left to go. AI worker E was stopped manually. Okay, now we can start uh, cultivating this side too, right? Yes. Oh my god. I forgot. I can't uh I can't AI this. I was gonna go and do something else. <laughs> I think we gotta empty him out though, because he's he's probably got a pretty full uh a pretty full thing. That's fine. Whoops. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, he's doing fine. He's fine too. Alright. There's a lot to do, yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's nice to be so busy too, though, right? I gotta do this bit because he won't do it.
Which way is, is he gonna go? He should come back this way, hopefully, and not the other way. Oh yeah, he is. He's coming back this way. Perfect. He just left like this little line at the end. I gotta lime that field too, but this other tractor, I can do it. Listen to this spooky music. There's going to be a lot of straw uh, from this. We're going to have to um, bale it up and collect it before this field can be prepped. We'll have to do it in that field too. There's tons of it. Probably go dump this off at the mill. It's getting pretty full. I'll be right back. Look at this load of oats. I can barely pull it with this thing. All right. Well, I think we'll have uh, I think we'll have enough to run us through uh, the whole year now, production-wise, for uh, for bread and uh, oil, which is nice, because usually by about November, December, we've run out. Wait for it to lower. How are the animals? They're fine. They're fine. I can't believe we have 60 sheep now. These ones are just babies, though. These ones are getting there, though. They're almost fully, uh, fully grown. Doesn't take them very long.
honey. 212 liters. Ow. No thank you, mate. Don't like that move out. get this bit that was missed and then he can carry on. Is this going to make big rocks? I hope not. I hope it I hope the the second pass of cultivating didn't create some big rocks there. guy's gonna need to need to unload I think we're almost done this field actually holy shit he is trying to do the big reverse move I'll, uh... Now Worker B has completed their task apparently, which I... Some doubt exists in my mind. Um, I think we're, we're spending money next on production. We're gonna upgrade the furniture factory so that it produces furniture faster. Is this actually happening? Hey, what's going on? He's quiet quitting. Fudge. There's some, there's some definite weirdness with these fields, like they're possessed or something. Maybe it's ghosts, yeah.
Can I sing some carols? No. No, I heard my uh, I heard my voice um, doing um, the electric slide um, yesterday, so I I had to cancel my uh, carol singing extravaganza today. Uh, Dowie, yeah, I do actually. I, I quite often, in fact. Oh, well, now Al's doing the reversal move, but actually this works out pretty good. This is a nice time for him to do the reversal move. We'll get him doing uh, oats in the uh, other field, and then we can start bailing this, I guess. I don't know what that is. I think that's the end of the playlist. Al just couldn't do it. He just couldn't finish this last little bit. It was too much for him. I feel awkward that I didn't get you anything for Christmas. Dowie. But you got me a spa day. <laughs> so I'm giving you this money instead. Remember to send me the details after. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and the family. Oh, Dowie, thank you so much. I'll send you the details as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. I hope you have a good one. Thank you so much, Dowie. All right, remind me after Christmas chat. We've got, we're right in the middle of the harvest, but I do not have time. I have to go pretty soon. I'm gonna start bailing and then, so I know where I'm up to roughly and then that's it. That's all she wrote. been a big harvest yeah our production is uh is is all back up and running which is really nice and we're planting uh tomorrow too which is great
little bit there. It is not, uh, it's not over, it's not overriding. I don't know how to get the grass so out. Shania is still in Australia. Your jerky is due to be there any day, and a gift for you and Poop Feast is late too. But Merry Christmas to you and your family. You're the best. Oh. Zox, Zox, ho, ho, ho. Erica, thank you so much for the 10. I appreciate it. No, resetting it doesn't work. Last time we just, um, we just started collecting and it was fine. Oh, I thought I already lowered the pickup one. That's that's the that's the issue right there. Erica, thank you so much and Merry Christmas. I appreciate it. As always, thank you. Alright, I'm just gonna try my best to tidy up these edges. That the amount of straw that comes out of the back of that is wild. This was a this was a big harvest. This doesn't need to be wrapped. It's just gonna chuck them on the ground and we're gonna pick them up with the trailer and sell them. No hard feelings about the vid. Merry Christmas, <laughs> You bring us all so much joy and so many laughs. Oh. Here's to a banger 2024. Teagles, I don't even have time now. I'm so sorry. Teagles, thank you so much. Sorry I didn't watch the clips vid. The 12 minute long clips vid. I'm so sorry. And thank you very much. And have a good Christmas. Yourself. You and yours. I appreciate it. Thank you, Teagles. What time is it? Like 10 minutes. I need a wider baler. I can't pick up all this. Here's to absolutely killing it king in 2023 and on to killing it even more in 2024. Play more satisfactory, dad. Oh, trigger happy 87. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I got to empty this guy's tank. Thank you so much, trigger happy 87. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you so much for 1337. I'm sure we'll play some more satisfactory. Kema Kate Kazi, thank you so much for the five gift subs as well. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. There we have harvested so many oats. Our flower production is gonna be loving it. Just loved it. Factorio space update looking really spicy. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, we'll play that for sure. That sounds great. Merry Christmas, Sips. On behalf of the entire state of Wisconsin, please accept this donation as your Christmas gift from us. We love you. Kiss, hug, kiss, hug, kiss intercourse. What did I just do? Oh, you can't assign a worker to the, uh, to the bailer. Randy Calrees? Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits, Randy. Also, what's up, Randy? 
Merry Christmas, Randy. Tell Wisconsin I said Merry Christmas as well. They'll love to hear from their favorite, favorite son. There's going to be possibly a bit of money in selling these straw bales. So there's going to be tons of them. What did we say a load of straw bales was? It's about 13k or something. 10k? Just under 10k? And silage, half a load of silage bales is like 15k. So a full load is, what's 15 plus 15? Well, worst case Ontario, um, we're making 15k. Look, I managed to get this whole line in perfectly. How did I do it? You may wonder. Well, I'm a bit of a magician. Look at this. Look at all these bales. I think that other line, it was doubled up, right? Because um, I don't want to point fingers, but Al missed a bit and then I had to go back over it. And uh, I think the straw ejected like alongside the other one. But it, it looks like we can actually get the full ridge. Don't even say it. Worker, Al Worker 5 has finished his task. Now he got no. a spa day? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Merry Christmas from Texas where I've just returned from a tamale run. Nice. If I could, you know I'd share less than three. Rockstar, thank you so much for the 30. Have a good Christmas. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um... I'm, uh, yeah, Dowie, I got, I paid for Dowie's bus fare to go to, uh, Leamington Spa. Um, it cost me, uh, 63 pence, uh, senior, senior citizens, uh, rate. Did you actually do a tamales run? <laughs> Leamington, yeah. Close to Gloucestershire, right?
No, I can't get the student discounts anymore. Even though, technically, I'm still uh, a student because I'm uh, learning the uh, Forbidden Arts, uh, they won't give it to me. The rate. I gotta save. I gotta go, chat. I'm so sorry. Uh, we will continue with all of this harvesting and stuff after the holidays when I'm back. Yes? We still got um, a field left, I think, to finish another canola field. And then we're prepping all the fields for August so that we can plant more canola and wheat. There's a huge harvest this year. Oh, my God. If we didn't just jam everything into production, we could have sold all of that and made some decent money. But we'll make even more money jamming it all into production, as we are doing. It looks like production will run for the whole year now as well. We have so much canola and flour. It's crazy. Chat. Have a good break. Have a good holiday break if you're taking a break. If you're, uh, if you're a Christmas enjoyer, enjoy yourselves. Uh, if you do other stuff, enjoy that too. I hope you have a good one. I should be back next week. Midweek, kind of after Christmas Boxing Day. I got a lot of family stuff to do. Uh, and we'll do some more farming then, yes? All right. Thank you so much for all the subs. Thanks for the resubs. Thanks for the donations. Thanks for the gift subs. Thank you for all the Christmas wishes. I appreciate it, and right back at you. I hope you have a good one. I hope you have a nice, fun time with whoever you spend your holidays with. And uh, take it easy, and I'll see you next week when I get back. Yes? All right, chat. LOL, lots of love. See you then. Peace. Bye now. Bye.